So I set you up with a simple Q-switch fibre. It's only got one waveform, but one waveform does everything really, doesn't it? Tell him I can mark all of that with the laser on the same settings. Uh. Yeah? No, Dave! Material threshold. Basically a term that means how much laser energy does a material need for it to mark perfectly. If you pointed a blowtorch at a metal joint, you might get a beautiful weld. Point a blowtorch at a pile of newspaper, and you get a pile of ashes. We all understand that materials have different thresholds for what they can and can't take in terms of energy. Well, everyone apart from laser manufacturers who sell one-size-fits-all, Q-switch, single waveform nonsense. Lasers emit energy, and that energy causes a reaction on the surface of the material. It stands to reason that, like our blowtorch, you might need different levels of energy for different materials. What you need is a laser where you can actually control the settings inside it. Would you buy a car if it only had one gear? We call these settings different waveforms. Now there are quite a few things that make up waveforms. Today we're just looking at two. Pulse repetition, which is how many times the laser fires, and pulse width, which is how long the laser fires for. Now listen, these numbers get into the thousandth or billionth of a second, so what we're going to do is scale everything way up just to make it a little bit easy to understand, okay? So if I were to set my pulse repetition to two seconds and my pulse width to one, then the laser is going to fire for one second every two seconds. And this is a great way of controlling how much energy is going into the material. Because every material is different. And every material is beautiful. But a mark isn't just perfect or ruined. Materials have a sort of Goldilocks zone where in the middle is just right and everything either side's a bit... Some materials have quite a big material threshold. They're like, yeah, no, workers, I'll, you know, roll with the punches, I'll take what you give me. And some materials are more like, how dare you? So this is where it becomes important to control the waveform because you need that flexibility. So Q-switch fiber lasers are the cheapest ones, but they only have one waveform accessible to them. So basically, if you're not doing the one thing it's designed for, you're scuppered. Even if you're looking for a MOPA fiber laser, most of them only have one or two waveforms. The Meta C and the Micrometa that we offer here at Lotus have 17 waveforms. 17. But I'm going to level with you. The 17 waveforms isn't just a flex. It's not so we can give ourselves a pat on the back. It's because we had this exact problem many, many years ago and we let down a client. So we want to make sure that you don't. The job was pretty simple. It was marking barcodes onto plastic bottles. Now the waveform of the laser that we had was perfect. It marked them on the surface that they were all was well. Then the client started to notice that the barcodes would sometimes scratch off. And so they wanted a solution that was more like marking just underneath the surface of the plastic. A bit like when you get a tattoo and it's technically just underneath your skin. And guess what? We had a Q-switch with only one waveform, could only do one thing and we couldn't do it. So 17 isn't because we're showing off, it's because we never want you to let down a client the way that we did all those years ago. So aside from the science, material threshold comes down to a simple question. Will I be able to do what my client needs? And that's why we offer 17 waveforms of flexibility, because we wanna make sure that the answer to that question is always yes. Listen, if you're stuck on any of this, lotuslaser.com has got loads of great information. You can give us a call. You can come in and see these machines for yourself. We've been working on this stuff for 30 years and we know what we're doing. Thanks, guys. See you in the next one.